um, we're talking about a jealous partner. Oh. All right. So he decided that um, <clears throat> he was not okay. He was not comfortable with his wife getting a 60,000, what? 60,000? 60, 60 shilling. 60 bob. Wait. I'm sorry. It was only 60 bob. 60 bob. My mind so, is so, so it definitely did not rain at this wedding. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was dry. So a uh, 60, shi 60 shilling gift. Yeah. Is this story correct? It's correct. It okay. Yes. 60 bob gift. Monday. So he will, <laughs> <laughs> How can that be? <laughs> well, she received 60 shillings mm -hmm. and he was jealous about that. Mm -hmm. So it's an ending a life he, over. He beat her. Yeah. <sighs> to death. Let me read the receipts because please, I feel like please, just, when, just, you, just when you real. do this, when you do this off of the top of your head, you're like, no, no, I'm I lying. don't believe it. We're sorry, we're lying too. Let me read these receipts. A man identified as Henry Aneele has been remanded in prison for beating his wife to death over 60 shilling gift she got from an individual. The chief magistrate O Olatunji said the accused should be remanded in prison pending advice from the state director of public prosecutions. Mr. Aneele, 40, whose plea was not taken, has appeared on a charge for murder. Livid, earlier a police inspector, cousin, cousin Adams, told the court that the accused had been committed the, had committed the offense after he got livid when he found when he found out someone was showering his wife with gifts 60 bob is showering his wife with gifts showering yes imagine mr adams said that the accused had found out that someone gave his wife chiniere 35 a sum of 60 bob which did not go down well with him uh, when he was accused he claimed that she could not give any tangible answer as to why she would accept the money from the other man this angered the accused, who beat up his wife to death for collecting the money. He, meets, he made an attempt to escape, but was apprehended by neighbors and then handed over the, to the police. Uh, the offense attracts a death sentence for offenders if found guilty. Not just an assault, he killed her? He killed yeah, her. He, he murdered beat her this woman. This, this is not funny. For 64. It's not funny, but I will tell you this. Um, there is a psychological issue there. Oh, for yeah. For sure. Yeah. There's Whole. insecurity. She, um, it's Number not one. about. I There's feel like one I feel like the, the, the humor for the humor for this story mm -hmm. um, is how they're highlighting the sixty, yeah. right? And, yeah. and, you, and you know, people people are really good at penning stories mm -hmm. to make you read. Mm -hmm. But for me, what stands out is he's not well. Mm -hmm. He's never been well. Mm -hmm. uh, she was probably in uh, you know uh, an abusive relationship for a long time. Yes. But a lot of people never get out. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. next thing you know, she, she you know she mm -hmm. died. Only. One he was thing. insecure. Yeah. And he is an insecure person mm -hmm. who needs help. Yeah. And um, it's just somebody else giving her attention. Yes. yes. And there's many relationships that are in that yeah. kind of pattern mm -hmm. where you feel like you could lose this person that mm -hmm. you have put up there who can fill this void for you in your life because you're not fixed. Yeah. They can come and fix you. Mm -hmm. um, and any threat to that mm -hmm. arrangement. Mm -hmm is just gonna yeah. make you even more nuts. I know that gift it's communicated crazy. to him mm -hmm. that somebody else can offer you that. Mm. You know, um, yeah. somebody like else she can could offer bail. You. I could lose her. Exactly. But like, you know how what? dare you? It comes even to dare. me as like one term, and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of angry tweets from men about this. But you guys, this is male fragility. Okay, mm -hmm. this is how. Ouch. This is how fragile some men are. They're fragile enough to murder a woman, to take a life, mm. because 60 bob threatens you that much. It does. I, the I, there's no explanation, there's no excuse. You need to check your fragility, okay? Mm. 60 bob is not going to steal away a woman, mm. okay? And if, and if that's what defines you, and that's the only thing you can provide, mm. then you need to reevaluate who you are as a person and what value you bring to the table. Because mm. clearly, if 60 bob was a, a large sum of money for mm. you, then your issue is with who you are as a provider. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a large ding, sum of money, ding, exactly, ding, 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 ding. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then if it's mm -hmm. not about who you are as a provider, mm -hmm. then it's about control. You wanted to control her so badly yeah. that when you see a woman gaining independence away from you, yeah. you're like, mm, I need to end this now. So it could have been 60 shillings, 50, 10, exactly. it could have been 200, it could have been, been anything, could have been five but both. it could have ended this way still. It's so true. that is a really sad story. It's, yeah, it's and shameful. to our sisters, like, let, let, let's not get it, let's not, it, let's not let it get to yeah. that if you see that somebody has those your mind and you mm -hmm. cannot even mm. just what did you get that dress from lydia see no. the red flag don't do it <laughs> see the red flag <laughs>